Hello, everyone. Tonight, an adventure in Haggis. Uh, we have Haggis here. It's This is a package that is completely in English, and uh, it's, uh, but it's Scottish food. So, uh, so great. I'm really excited. Um, we're going to cook this. We're going to cook croissants. We're here in Sean's apartment. Uh, let me just uh, view you. This is uh, right down the street from my place. And here is Sean's art center where he uh, sprays paint on vinyl, which is fun. Here's the actual. Let me just give you the... the that is the Sean, actually. And this is uh, the background movie as well, <clears throat> which is um, Faster Pussycat Kill Kill. Uh, so that's, uh, you know, that's your basic setup for the evening's festivities. We will cook the haggis. We will let you know how it is. Stay tuned. Stove bit me. Dude, how did it do that? Just reached in for a warm tortilla and I'm like, ha! <laughs> Beautiful. Sort of like the karate chop woman in the yeah. other room. It went, ha! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> it went, ha! And then, like, shh, you know, the. Not exactly Bruce Lee, really. My uh, light doesn't work, so. Sweet. Yeah, well, I'm glad you know how to do these things. I'm not really, I don't have a haggis set up. How to, to enter? <laughs> Dude! For your chance to, oh, it's a sweepstake, okay, never mind. Okay, all right. The ingredients is right here. Oh, really? What is it? Maybe we shouldn't, we were, we were directed not to, read, not to read the ingredients. Well, let me just read the first one, and it's 33% pork lungs. Pork lungs? Wow. No, read more. <laughs> Oatmeal. All right. Pork fat. All right. Liver. Water. Water, that's a natural ingredient. Pork heart. Pork heart, sure. Onion salt. Rusk. I don't know what rusk is. It's halfway between rust and musk. It's... Oh, no, here in parentheses it says uh, wheat flour, salt, water. Uh, spice. It spices. Spices. Uh, ooh, contains wheat, gluten, and oats. In case you uh, have autistic children, you don't want this. Yeah. Uh, uh, suitable for home freezing. This product may have been previously frozen and defrosted under control. Fishing for me, so just being frozen. Okay, before. Yeah, okay, here. Ah, here's the heating suggestions. Can. Paul recommended heating suggestions. Guide only. Microwave removed from plastic. Removed from casing and placed in the microwave dish cover. Okay, we want to do it in the oven. Oven. Uh, heat in the oven. Remove from packaging. Preheat oven to 290 Celsius. Uh, or, or 300, 375 Fahrenheit. Uh, gas mark 5. I don't know what that means. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> remove haggis from casing and place in a casserole dish. Cover and heat for hour 22 minutes? 20 minutes? Well, I don't have a cover. So it's just going to be open. I can cover it with tinfoil, I guess. I, I, sure. fuck, I don't know. Um, flop, flop up lightly with a, a fork before serving. Ensure product is 
piping hot throughout before serving. Do not reheat. So there's the whole thing. All right, I'm just gonna stick it in there. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> and uh, I'm not gonna cover it. All right, we're just gonna go. We're just gonna make it happen. Okay. There was that was the uh, ceremonial splitting of the haggis. I don't know if it was really ceremonial or not, or if there should be a ceremony. Um, I just, just want to say, my neighbor Carrie, who is Scottish, says this is it. This is the best thing in the world. So. Well, should we ask her about the tin foil? Maybe she would know if it's really necessary to cover. Um, she just said directions are on the bag. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna let that go for an hour and then add some French fries around it. Yeah. For the next 20 minutes. Nice. And maybe some croissants. So here we go. All right, baby. Sean Von Cadillac sticking it in the oven. Red. Okay, uh, haggis progress. Uh, we've just taken it out of the oven. It looks basically the same as it did before. Brands and chips. Brands and chips. Haggis and chips. Haggis and chips. It's like fish and chips, except there's no fish. There's just haggis. And uh, we've just finished watching the uh, the Russ Meyer film. And film is quotation marks. Uh, we've just finished watching Faster Pussycat Kill Kill, uh, which was an interesting piece of culture. Uh, and a black and white movie. Uh, and there was a lot of uh, breasty people in it. So that was obviously interesting to me. So, um, <laughs> so uh, onward, forward. Uh, perhaps there will be another film. There will certainly be some sheep meat in our future. All right. Okay. It's now haggis time. I don't know about the French fries, but what the fuck? Let's eat it. Yeah. What the hell? Looks uh, looks interesting. It looks like meatloaf, but Scottish. What do you think? Uh, I don't want to think anything until I actually eat it. So you wanna you wanna judge while eating? Well, if I think about it, I might not eat it because I, all I heard, I'm gonna eat it. You we're just gonna eat it. <laughs> All right. You can't. You can't reheat it. You can't. Oh no! Re the reheating of Vegas. No. That's what it said. Here. Oh, bonus piece for you right there. Bonus Vegas. <laughs> How fantastic is that? Hey, if things get a little scary. We always have my buddy Tapatio. <laughs> Tapatio. Is that I, little... I got that from 7-Eleven. Tracy put that in my bag before I left. <laughs> Back in Germany. Good choice. Good, uh, good girl. Good girl. She likes you. So you should keep her. <laughs> yeah, baby. Beyond life looks crazy. Anyway. <laughs> Sweet. Is that... It's hot sauce? It's, uh... Is it Tabasco or, or is it hot sauce? Hot sauce. Okay, sweet. Beautiful. Okay. The preparing of the haggis is a... I mean, it's a spiritual thing. There's a lot that goes into this. We've been through days of mental preparation for this moment. Sweet. I don't, I don't have any ketchup. All right. That's cool. I don't think ketchup goes. Oh, french fries. Oh, french fries. Sure. All right, I'm gonna pocket the sauce. Still doing this for 150. Mm-hmm. So, it's the first bite of the haggis.
We've got juice. We have some sort of butter type product. The bell olive. And, uh, okay, sweet. And we got some, uh, you know, some croissant from a can, which uh, is very good. All right, here I go. Here he goes. There she is. Okay. We've, we're still chewing. That's good. That's a good sign. It tastes just like chicken. It tastes like chicken. <laughs> what does it taste like, Sean? I'm going to see this uh, occupational hypnotherapist with Ann. Dude, liverwurst. Okay. All right. Liverwurst. Worsty. Okay. Sweet. It's not bad. All right. Good. All right. That's that's encouraging. What is that supposed to mean? Okay, I shall. Why don't you just tell Anne that we're not in hypnosis? You won't have coffee. I can't do that. She'd get all pissed off. And besides, I think that the guy might actually be able to help. I mean, he did help Anne lose weight. Because she's an addict. Yeah, I know. The guy it is kind of liver worsty. Yeah, well, I don't think any occupational hypnotherapist is going to help you solve any problems. It reminds me of the goose hey, liver pate my mom used to make me wear. What's the that you're having problems with? Mmm, goose liver. Yeah. Didn't you get that memo? Which she made with uh, Brown Schweiger. Mykowski? Uh, which I believe the town originated around some meat, I don't know. Have you seen this? I know it. I know the town revolved around a walk or what? <laughs> Brown Schweiger. It's uh, the Brown Schweiger comes from the, the town name. Gave that <laughs> meat product its name. They call them efficiency experts. Oh, Schweiger was a lot. Yeah, it's awesome, man. Okay. You know, there are other in this world that don't have to put up with all this shit. I know. But they've got... Oh, wait, no, it's up here. You see, that's what you have to do. You have to use your mind. No? Yes. Sand. Hey, Peter, it's about a walk, right? Yeah, baby. Damn it. Lawrence, can't you just pretend? Good evening, fans. The Haggis experience. I just wanted to wrap that up for you and, uh, you know, give you the full uh, experience. Of course, we've moved. We're no longer in Sean's apartment. We're in RJ's dorm room. I have taken the appropriate shower, um, you know, so that people can live around me. It's, it's you know, it's important to them. So <clears throat> it, it turned out well. The, the Haggis experience turned out well. In fact, I think that Sean is going to start a band, Sean Von Cadillac and the Haggis experience, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he can correct me if I am wrong on this issue. but. The Haggis, uh, you know, I've heard a lot about Haggis in my life. Why? I mean, it's like a Scottish food. Why would I know this? You know, I don't know. I mean, perhaps it was too much Desmond on Lost. Perhaps he spoke about it. Perhaps I have a strange interest in sheep stomach. But, you know, I don't think there was any sheep stomach in this. Um, I, I could be wrong. At one point, we did read the ingredients aloud. I, I would, you know, they, we were instructed not to, but we're a couple of people when you tell us not to do something. Um, it's pretty much, uh, okay, where does it go on the schedule? So we read the, the, uh, the ingredients aloud, and uh, there was no sheep stomach, so I think it was always actually just cooked in a sheep stomach, which, you know, we didn't have any of those on hand. 
which was good, which was positive. It had some sort of a natural casing. No, I don't know what the casing was, but we, we removed that before the whole oven. So uh, it kind of kept its little round shape of the whole time. It, uh, it retained that well. And Sean and I split it up and we, uh, we also had french fries. Uh, we, we can call them french fries. Uh, we, you know, everyone else, uh, the, the German term palm frites, french fries, where Sean and I are, are pretty much Americanized. Well, we are Americans, not Americanized. That's different. That's like a dry cleaning. I don't know what it is. Anyway, so french fries. We had some french fries. <clears throat> we cooked, uh, well, Sean cooked some croissants. Uh, the ones that kind of come in the can that, you know, pops and so, um, they were great. And, uh, and mostly what I ate because the haggis was, it was very interesting. It had kind of a bumpy texture where it had sort of these little tiny, these little kind of almost like barley, but I think it was actually oatmeal. Uh, these kind of bumps and then the, the bumps were surrounded with this very finely ground meat, like not ground beef like you see in the grocery store no this was very finely ground meat it reminded me of the goose liver pate my mom used to make when we were teeny people when i was shorter than i am now and uh and yeah i mean it had that kind of a taste but it was it was warm you know um and uh and it kind of spiced a little bit um, kind of liverwursty, really. If you want to get the main taste, it did not taste like chicken. No chicken has ever tasted that way, naturally. And so, yes, it was interesting. I did, I enjoyed some of that stuff. And then I, I just felt at some point the adventure come to an end. And I, you know, left the rest of it there to rest in peace and it was uh you know it was very interesting it was a very interesting experience it was a lot of fun and we watched classics tonight faster pussycat kill kill i mean uh no i had never i had never seen it i had never heard of it i knew there was a band called faster pussycat uh i i known the name russ meyer which was the director of this particular film um, Russ Meyer from Seinfeld mentions him once in an episode. I probably could tell you which episode if I have my stack of DVDs here. I'm nerdy. Anyway, what I learned from Faster Pussycat was, yeah, kills a person. And that is not martial arts. I just want to tell you that now. Um, there was a lot of upper body movement in the movie it was pretty basically not that much of a plot line but you could you could put you know <laughs> piece the dots together excuse me um it was very interesting and then we watched office space which i love office space i love office space i've worked in an office i know how those cubicles go together and when he unscrews it and just pushes down that wall it's a feeling. Anyway, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I did. The haggis, that was, that was the kind of experience that I have been searching for. And I just want to thank you all for coming on the ride with me, especially Sean for opening his apartment and allowing me to film him cooking. So have a wonderful day. I'll be back another day. Yes.